This project is called the Estrada Residence. And we're going to see the workflow, okay? So, number one, all the things they sent me as references. So the nice thing with this client is he knows how to use SketchUp. So he actually sent some of his models. So we tried to render his model, it looks like this by default. And from these references, we can start to make a list of the project requirements. So a notepad of his preferences. So dark color with wooden aesthetics, minimalist modern design. He actually is uh, a bit technical because he works at real estate so before we start actually designing we ask for the down payment here and straight to our floor plans now this is the floor plan that we suggested after many schemes since we do not have the soil test and the topography map topographic map we don't know the slope so we assume that this will be for future expansion and this will be the main floor I guess yeah so the setup of this is that the road is here and all our service areas and wet areas are here of our open plan dining living kitchen and balcony and we also have a kind of buffer from the view outside towards our toilet and bath just in case there might be houses that peek through only the conceptual furniture are placed in 2D so we're not actually 3D modeling the interior yet so this is the entrance from the road we have the driveway two car parking and the main entry so showing this to the client after approval we started to go towards our elevations so the basic architectural and then wait for other revisions and then remodel as intended Afterwards, we go to step 3, which is the main design, meaning to say our perspectives and renders. Now we can ha finally have a feel. So this is just 5 seconds in Enscape, as you see the materials are not edited properly, but this just gives a feel of the space from just the 2D plan. So he will be like, oh, okay, this is good enough for like a family of 4. Usually give 2 options ceiling still stays the same okay it's just it it's not really hard to do it's five seconds only and then the most highlight highlighted parts are the common areas and this is the outside so this is if we extended and if we still decide to cut down on cost we could start this way so so if you have not enough budget start here then here then here these are actually like real-time screenshots so compared to putting them in Photoshop and post-processing you can just take initial screenshots and if he chooses to sleep here you can hear the car sounds as well so we need to place like ceiling acoustic buffer however we suggested this that the accent color can change to the kids favorite color example the kid likes blue this could be accented blues to make it more fun. Whatever music room he is intending to do here, we made it like bare so he can just set up his own in the future. But we also give our suggestions. So, a bit more options. If he chooses to make this area into a mini bar, it will look like this. And the computer area can stay on the left, where they can actually jam together and decide to edit tracks in the computer area master bedroom so this is optional and that's like the third step interior and exterior design after that we go towards the blueprint so maybe this already takes two weeks for the design approval cover page showing the site development technical description exterior perspective vicinity map Make sure to indicate the arrow of the north and the numbers of the lot points and as well as the table of contents. Site development plan more enlarged. Now other people can choose to show the ground floor plan here as well but for here I decided to show the roofing and each setback from each wall and roof. 
observations. So the line weights are actually alright. Reflection of the glass, the glazing, and the shadows are optional. Well, anything that you think might be confusing, you have to indicate them. Uh, columns can be indexed by these index keys A, B, C, and 1, 2, 3. Sections, you can label them inside as well. You don't have to show all the furniture. But since I have these stairs detailed in another page, I did not specifically dimension everything. However, I still added some labels to which material should be used for those not indicated in the plan. Speaking of electrical, this is an example of electrical in the location map. So SDP or where will the service entry come through. By service entry I mean this one. What kind of steel pole are you going to use or how high the concrete should be or how deep should the footing be. And when it enters inside okay, from your service cap going to the steel pole, it should be received inside the house by the panel box number one. Now this differs how many panel boxes you have. And inside this panel box you have this circuit layout. Okay, We call this a circuit diagram to which the breakers are labeled. This is a lighting outlet, a convenience outlet or a water heater. So in your house, example, you have to repair the water heater, you can just turn number 3 off. So I usually ask the electrician to label them. Most of the time though we have all lighting outlets first and convenience outlets later. And the computations are in here as a schedule. I just place it here because our electrician will also be the one to install. And by color code since this is PDF and they can see it through their phone. I have it color coded. Next we'll have our plumbing. Um, this is usually like the third. But yeah, we start with our red will be like the sewer layout or like any waste. And blue will be water. So in most practices you have to separate these pages. But since I want to see mine color coded and installed almost at the same time, I want to see on how they intersect with each other. These ones do not actually overlay or intersect. They go up to the wall and then towards the faucet. While these P traps go under the floor and then to the main line. And a 3 inch diameter for the waste pipe, meaning to say this waste pipe is for everything excessive and watery and the soil pipe is meant for feces or your poop tae. Isometric diagram as well to show how it will be laid out and have the approval of our sanitary engineer or in other cases our master plumber. Now this should have been the second one but we'll discuss it now. A foundation plan just lays out the location of our footing. So they are represented by the letter F as footing. So this legend has been, you know, saved wrong and was edited. However, what this should mean is that if this is F1, everything that says F1 should have the same dimension. And we label our rebars here like a spot detail called slab on fill. That means the slab on top of the earth feel fill, yeah. We call it suspended slab if it's like on the higher floors above the ground. For example, our slab schedule. It says on S1 or a sus suspended slab, 12 millimeters spaced at 200 millimeters on center both ways. You measure the bar by the center and do it both ways, so up and left. Length over floor for supports, that's where we use our 12mm and on the bottom is 10mm all throughout but spaced at 1 foot or 30 centimeters or 300mm on center both ways. So that is this drawing supposedly. 
However, the legend always should supersede any drawing. After the blueprint, now we have the analysis. So from one, two, three, four, these are all pictures and drawings. The analysis is done by professionals, so that's where we get our sign and seal and computations. For example, I sent the drawings to the electrical engineer and he says this is the right computation. We have to go back to our blueprint and update them. So all of these are used so that we can make our cost. Let's say the steel bars should be new and free from rust, so your quality checker We'll check that all the steel bars that come to the site should not be rusty or else it's a reject and had, has to be returned to the factory. Uh, one thing that's nice here is like the tiles. For finish, the size is here, so when you go and buy tiles, you don't have to keep asking the architect, oh, what should we buy, what color should we buy, because if these are reflective of the design, then it should be stated here 60 by 60 centimeters beige model. Now, this is a brand, this is a brand or equivalent. So, if these are not available, you can find something equivalent or similar. But most of the time, you know, we try to change things on site, so it has to be indicated here or as approved by. The architect so follow architects instructions now after all these technical things have been made we can go to the building permit requirements so some of the requirements are building permit sanitary permit permit forms are all given for our technical and professional professionals to sign that includes now with their analysis Building documents are our working drawings. Architectural from here, we saw these all a while ago. Most commercial areas have these electronic, geodetic, mechanical, and fire safety. Me mechanical especially for elevators and escalators. Okay. Electrical design analysis comes with our electrical engineer. Have it signed and sealed by your professionals. So architect, civil engineer, electrical, master plumber, notice, a foreman or just a carpenter without the PRC cannot sign or offer signature to building permit because these are the only accredited professionals. Now it's not here but we already have our cost estimates and after everything is approved we'll have the owner and the design professional sign these. We'll give the tarpaulin as well. We'll put the design professionals involved and who should be liable in case things happen. So, hindi kayo pwede laging mas kam kasi meron ng nagsign ng building permits. And that is an example of how I organize my project folder. Where do I put the SketchUp plan? Here. I place it in design. So, oh yeah can charge extra for animation. Animation is good because the client can see all aspects of the design. However, it takes some time to model. But with our workflow from 3D to 2D, there should be no problem because when you're editing the perspective, the plans are being updated. Everything you see in the plan is from these this model, so the windows, the staircase, nothing has been redrawn. Unless, of course, you want to have it more intricate and more detailed. Okay. I also show how the phase of construction could be suggested from this to this. that's it a simple workflow showing the file organization of this small house thank you for watching